Hey guys, it's Tucker here. In today's video, I'll make sure you uninstall your drivers, install a fresh new drivers for your GPU. You might be upgrading your GPU or transitioning to AMD. I want to show you guys how to uninstall drivers so that way you don't have any problems down the line. So let's get into it. The first thing to do is download Display Driver Uninstaller. Now I will have a link to it down below. Once you're on this page here, you just want to download the latest version. For me, it's going to be the USA. So we're going to download the mirror. And it's going to download right onto our computer. It's going to take a few seconds to load. But once you see it, you should get a little file like this. So the next thing you want to do is go to your file explorer, go under your downloads. And once you're in your downloads, you should see this zip file here. What you want to do is just right click on it and then go to extract all. So we get access to the files that we're good to go. The next thing you want to do is get in the safe mode. And the reason we want to go in the safe mode is that way we can safely uninstall our drivers and reinstall new ones. So what you're going to do is go to the search bar, go to settings on your computer. When you're in settings on the top left area, you have a search bar. You just want to look up a uh, reset. And of course, you're going to look up the was it reset this PC. And then we want to click on that. And then you have another option called advanced startup. And we want to click on restart now, which is going to restart our computer and let us go into troubleshooting. So I'm going to move my face cam for the time being because you're going to have options like this. And what you want to do is go to troubleshoot, go to advanced options and then go to startup settings, which is gonna let us load into safe mode into our computer. Now, you wanna click on one of the following options so you get access to safe mode. We're gonna click four, cause this is gonna enable safe mode and that's what we wanna do. So just click four on your keyboard. Once you're in safe mode and you signed in, you should see a black background, nothing special with your actual computer. So once you're in here, you wanna find the thing we downloaded and all you have to do is go to your file explorer, go to your downloads, go to the file you extracted and just run the application. Now we will run this on our computer since it isn't recommended, but we are because we're just installing drivers. You want to say extract all. But once you've done that, you should see another folder that recently just opened up. So we're going to open this on up now and we're going to go to the display driver on installer. We're going to click on this and we're going to run it. So you will have access to a few different options. We're not going to mess with anything in here. You can select your type of device. So I'm going to check our GPU because that's what we're doing installing GPU drivers. And of course, you can pick the device you're using. So it should automatically select the device for your computer. So me, I have a 2080 Super, so I'm installing the drivers for this one. But for AMD, you just click on AMD. And for Intel GPUs or ARC, you would just click on Intel. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna do the clean and restart. So this is gonna uninstall all of your drivers on your computer and restart it and have a fresh restart. So we're gonna run this like so. And you just do the same thing for your GPU. Might take a second though, so just give it some time and come back to your computer once it's successfully reset. Once your computer is reset and you sign back into your computer, your PC will be completely reset for your drivers. So there'll be nothing special on it. You can see here, mine's gone back to default because of the fact that I have no GPU drivers on here. So the next step is to get new drivers for us. So if you wanna get fresh drivers for an NVIDIA GPU, what you wanna do is go get GeForce Experience. I will have a link to it down below. Once you're on this page here, you wanna click the download now icon, which is gonna install GeForce Experience onto your computer. Once it's downloaded though, you should get a little pop-up here. Go to your file explorer and just run it. Once it's downloaded though, all you have to do is log in. So I'm gonna log in for myself here. Once you're signed in though, it will ask you if you wanna do some other stuff. We're just gonna skip the tutorial and we're gonna go to drivers. And once we're in drivers, you wanna click for check for updates. This will pull up the latest drivers for our GPU. So all we do is wait for a second to load. Once it's loaded though, you should see the latest drivers here, which is mine is uh, 56.1. It could be newer for you. Just check the date, say release date. And then you can always check again to see if you got the recent drivers. So that's the most recent one. And what we're gonna do is just install this onto our computer. Now it might give you the option to do an express installation or custom installation. I always do a custom installation and it's just super simple as clicking custom, clicking yes, letting it prepare the drivers. And then of course you can do some other stuff like perform a clean install. But since we've already run the thing from earlier from safe mode, we don't have to worry about that. So we can just click install. And so we're just gonna let this do its thing, install our new drivers onto our GPU. Now that our drivers are installed, we now have fresh drivers for our GPU. So we can click close and I would recommend just resetting your computer so that way it just like verifies the files that are all good. But if you were to check your thing again, it says perfectly good to go. So we can play the latest games with the latest drivers. If you wanna install AMD graphics drivers though, I will have a link to this down below here. And once you're on this page, you will need to download the Radeon series uh, drivers. So you could either look up your GPU here or you can just download the thing for Windows. So we're gonna do that. Once it's downloaded, go to our file explorer and go to downloads. And then what we do is just run the AMD software and install this onto our computer. Once you've done that, it 
should just identify what hardware you have for AMD for your CPU and also GPU. If that, it'll pick the latest drivers for your actual hardware. So we should see drivers for the RX 6600. So you can see RX 6600, it says the recommended. So we're gonna upgrade to this and we just click on next and then click install. We don't need to mess with anything else here. And then of course, it's just gonna do its thing. With that though, the drivers are updated and all installed, so we're all good to go to use our GPU now. And that is how you install clean drivers onto your GPU. If you guys did find this video helpful, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you don't miss some future tech content here because we got some PC builds for AM5, also with some Radeon GPUs, and I'm looking forward to, man. So if you don't want to miss out on that, you know what to do. I'll see you for another one. Tech Grant out.